I am here to talk about a badass movie with some badass motherfuckers. I'm here to talk to you about a movie that I have not seen until now. And it is a movie that's the first installment of a franchise. And this first movie is badass, and I'm going to tell you why. Bad Boys. I would play the song right now, but I would rather not get copyright claimed. Anywho. Here's the review. Hope it was worth the wait. Alright, so with Ride or Die coming out this Friday, I think it's time to give this franchise a look and see if it's as good as people have been saying that it is. So naturally, I started by watching the original. For the first time, by the way. While it's not as great as some other buddy cop movies I've watched previously, Rush Hour, Lethal Weapon, etc, etc. I can say that this is still a great film that I did really enjoy, far more than I expected. Okay, I'll get rid of the tough guy facade, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Animation Station. We're talking about a movie today, it's Bad Boys, here's my review. Pros, great acting, especially from both Smith and Lawrence, who are amazing as Lowry and Burnett. Solid, unique storytelling, a sharp script, excellent directing from Bay, and one of the only times he actually shows respect and decency to his audience. Not saying anything more than that. Good pacing, insanely good humor. This movie is funny as hell. Memorable characters, brisk runtime of less than two hours, very good action, high rewatchability, and a lot of instantly iconic dialogue. My baloney has a first name, need I say more? Cons, villains are flat, third act is rushed a little, a few of the background characters can be annoying, especially the one person trying to shut down this precinct of the police, seriously. Bitch is annoying. <laughs> very, very annoying. And the cinematography is a tad bit shaky. And while it's not as prevalent or intrusive as some of his other films, <coughs> Transformers, there's some of those trademark bay seizure-inducing flashing lights that are still present. They're not that intrusive, but they are there. So, unfortunately, we're not completely out of the bayisms with this movie. Overall, though, I can see why this one's so highly praised. It's a great time and a lot of fun. Sure, I still prefer some other buddy cop movies, but I can easily recommend it to those who haven't seen it yet. As long as you're over 18, of course. This is rated R. So, with all that said, final verb for this movie is going to be an easy 8. 8 out of 10. With laughs, action, great performances, and more fucks than you can shake a stick at, Bad Boys is definitely a quintessential buddy cop classic. Check it out. That's all I got. See you next time for Bad Boys 2.